at the Fiery Food Show in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm Rosalinda Roman, and this is New Mexican. <laughs> Welcome back to New Mexicast, everyone. Well, it is 10.30 at night, definitely past my bedtime, but I have a flight to Chicago tomorrow and I did not want to wait to bring you this story. In fact, it's a story that I covered 10 years ago when I was working at the local ABC affiliate, KOAT7, here in Albuquerque. It was so much fun then that I knew my New Mexicast viewers would definitely enjoy it. I think you'll agree, after you watch the story, it is hot, hot, hot. This episode and New Mexicast theme song are brought to you by Dorian Spencer. Some of you may get lucky enough to catch him busking around New York City, but fortunately for the rest of us, his newly released Stone to Stone CD is now available at DorianSpencer.com. Kiana may be just two years old, but already she likes a little spice in her life. Yeah, she likes a lot of spicy things, as long as it doesn't bite her too bad. Well, Kiana samples some salsa. She calls it pasaisi. Her baby sister, Shaylee, is just taking in the sight. I'm easing her into it. She still gets a little fussy with the hot stuff. <laughs> but for those that are ready to feel the burn, this is the perfect place to be. My mouth on fire. The Fiery Foods and Barbecue Show in Albuquerque, New Mexico. You said your mouth's on fire, and is that a good thing? Oh, yeah. Is there a bun in the oven? Yes. Where they start them early. <laughs> and what does that baby think of that? He seems sleeping, but maybe he'll wake up in a little bit. <laughs> and where, for many, the hotter the better is the name of the game. Woo. I thought I could handle it. I'm weak. Are you burning people out or what? No, no, we're not. Never burn anybody out. <laughs> Seems like they like it, huh? Oh yeah, they do. They really do. This it's it's a it's a hot it's the hottest pepper in, in the world, but we've added flavor to it so they don't really feel the heat until the end. And, and, and you can add this on almost any food. So are you saying they don't feel the heat till it's too late? Yeah. <laughs> Each year, more than 10,000 fiery folks come here in search of products that will tickle. Anything that's spicy. Mm -hmm. Sweet, just anything that's here, we're trying it. Or torture their taste buds. <laughs> Too hot? It's hot, yeah. Right now, the one thing people are really looking for is the ultra hots. People want to get hurt. You know, the one thing they don't realize is that pain they feel today is going to be another pain tomorrow, you know. <laughs> well, it's true. I know, it's, but you, know, you said it, not me. You know, it's just, you know. <laughs> For 21 years, farmers like Jim Hawman of Las Cruces, New Mexico, have been showcasing their fiery favorites. The biggest crop is blackberries. We do chili, we do uh, pecans and some other crops. We have a mustard called Jeez Louise. It's really hot mustard. These are carrot-based hot sauces, and this is a chipotle ketchup. We've got our new fire-roasted um, jalapeno coming out. Try these one. I will give you one of the bottle for free. How's that? Each nudging potential customers to... Try it. He's going to try it. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> but if you think it's just a bunch of hotheads <laughs> and endorphin junkies that come here, think again. I like it really hot, but it's got to have flavor to it to cook with. The Fiery Food Show is also a gourmet food lover's dream. It's, it's an alternative flavor. Like for me, it's they say flavor over fire. And when you try different kinds of products that you can't get in your grocery store, that maybe some local farmer's market is in your neighborhood has this little small little company that's decided to mix some flavors together, and they're selling it, and you get to try it, and you feel special that I, this guy's in my neck of the woods. Good morning. <laughs> Perhaps the spiciest guy around is Dave DeWitt co-producer of the Fiery Food Show, who many call the Pope of Peppers. I've been milking the same chili for 25 years, something like that. Since the Fiery Food Show began, he has been helping spread the word about chili and chili. We spell chili with an E because we're referring to the plant and the pods. Chili with an I is that combination of meat and chilies that the Texans love and the New Mexicans do a better job on. And at 65, he's not only not slowing down, he's busy writing books and blogs and tweets. The whole Twitter thing, when she told me about it at first, I laughed. 
like I'm going to do that. Who would care what the heck I was doing, you know, every hour of the day? But apparently people do. I have a thousand people or more following me right now, so it's apparently doing well. Always searching for new ways to get people fired up about fiery foods. In the old days, people used to think chilies were just one thing. They had no flavor. They would burn you up, and you know, it would be an unpleasant experience. But everything's evolved. There's hundreds of varieties of chilies. A heat scale going from six or seven hundred for New Mexico chilies up to one million Scoville heat units for the Boot Jalokia. And so every heat level, flavor profiles uh, from chilies like the Abanero with a apricot-like aroma to the New Mexican red chilies with their own earthy flavors like that to pasillas which have an aroma and flavor of raisins. So people now know this. And that's why chilies are so popular. But all the flavor in the world can't hide the fact that most of what you'll find here ranges from very hot. Come on, dude, it can't be that bad. I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't think I can. That's too hot. To stupid hot. You, you look like you're on fire. What happened? Oh my God! I just put that barbecue sauce in my and the mild barbecue sauce at that. I'm dying. I don't know if I can handle it. I'm a pretty big wimp. You can handle it. Still, if you are a bit of a wimp, like a certain New Mexicast reporter, there are some cool your palate options here, too. That's what we ate, the candy. And it wasn't too spicy? No, it's not spicy at all. So whether you're looking for a hot kiss... I'm serious. That's my hot little kiss. Besito caliente. Some sweet heat. This one isn't really that spicy. But it's sweet and delicious, and it's really good with ice cream. Or a new way to spice things up in the kitchen. You told me it wasn't hot. <laughs> Sorry. You said I wouldn't, I you said I wouldn't do that to you. Now I got a family fight going on. Right. 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 I wouldn't do that to you, honey. <laughs> so, so you like it hotter than she does? Yes, I think so. The Fiery Foods and Barbecue Show is doing its part to help you keep the flame alive. Is it spicy? It's good. It's not spicy for me, but what, it's delicious. Do you like spicy foods? I like spicy foods. You can handle it really hot? Yes. Yeah. You must be from New Mexico. <laughs> right. At the Sandia Resort and Casino in Albuquerque, New Mexico, I'm Rosalinda Roman. In addition to all that fiery food, there were a lot of vendors selling some cool merchandise, too. And some of them were extremely generous, donating to our New Mexicast gift bag that we're giving away to a lucky viewer. Companies like Gemstar Designs that gave us some really cool jewelry to include. And Dave DeWitt himself gave us a signed copy of his book, Avenging Victorio. And, of course, it was a fiery foods festival, after all, so we definitely had to uh, include some spicy jalapeno salsa from Chavela Salsa down in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Just a few of the things that are going to be included in this oh-so-awesome gift bag. You can see the bag right behind that. And uh, some of you are probably wondering, what the heck am I talking about? Well, we are conducting a survey here on New Mexicast to get a better idea about who's actually watching these video podcasts. And if you take the survey at the very end, you can enter your email address for a chance to win this incredible gift bag. Lots of stuff from New Mexico that I know you will enjoy. So consider taking that survey. You have to watch a few episodes first. Uh, and then take that survey, give us some feedback, and enter your name in the drawing. Well, thank you to all of you who are watching and those that already took the survey. And lots of fun stuff still ahead. We've got flamenco dancing coming up. We've got Navajo missions. So please, stay tuned. Let me know what you think. And I will see you in two weeks. I'm Rosalinda Roman. Like a dream I had. New Mexico's theme song is New Mexico by Dorian Spencer. Additional support for New Mexico is provided by. At the Fiery Foods Show in New Mexico, in three, two, one. I'm Rosalinda Roman, and this is New Mexico. <laughs> Oh, three, two, one. <laughs> you guys have me cracking up. <laughs> you should stand right here with that ridiculous hat. Again with that ridiculous I mean, beautiful. <laughs> What's that dust cluster? <laughs> we call it a dead cat. <laughs> a dead cat. You know, your mic will work better if you take that cover off. <laughs> How hot is your stuff? Ah, son of a thing, I'm really hot. You're gonna have to try it. No way. But you have to. I can't. But you have to because otherwise you will know. 
There's no He's way trying to, to kill me. Is. You're witnessing this. Yeah, try it, try it. Spicy chocolate pie, and it's spicy to me. What about you? Is it too it's spicy for me. Yeah. Too spicy for you? Yeah.